Hi everyone, John here, All Miniatures Great and Small, and today's episode of What's on the Table is going to be more Black Seas. Um, you may have seen me working on these last week, and progress continues. Jake is almost done with his uh, initial British fleet, and I already had my French done, so I thought I would... I can't let Jake have parity with me, so I'm going to have to have two fleets ready. So I went ahead and built my Americans, and... Um, that's what you see here. So these are still very much a work in progress. They're in various uh, states. This guy is probably the furthest completed because I've got the sails on. Um, and I know I missed some, some rigging in certain spots, but I'm not going to go back and, and fix that right now. Once the sails are on, it's too fiddly. I still have some detail painting to do on the hull and a flat coat on the hull. Um, but otherwise, that guy's probably done. Um, this frigate here is kind of in my rigging stage so you can kind of see I think I got all the rigging um, that I was aiming for although I still have some tidying up to do on the masts uh, with some paint and uh, and so on so again still very much a work in progress then I have these two um, uh, super frigates that I'm still working on uh, they've got their masts. Their masts are currently in the tidying stage, um, but they are getting closer and closer. And then we can, uh, once the masts are good enough, we can start rigging them. So we have the President and the United States, and then we have two of these uh, brigs that I'm working on, the littlest of the fleet so far. I know I think they have schooners now and, and smaller ships, but um, you know, these guys are pretty, pretty tiny. They do pack a punch in the game, though. So that's going to be my American fleet. I already have the Constitution painted. It's in it's in its storage box. So that'll give me three super frigates painted, two regular frigates, and two um, brigs. Hopefully the super frigates can compete with Jake's uh, Ship of the Line. Um, I know the Ship of the Line is more powerful, uh, costs more points, but um, the super frigates are more maneuverable. So... We'll see how that goes. So, in addition to that, this week I also, um, you may have seen my unboxing for the droid battle tank for Star Wars Legion. So, I decided to go ahead and put him together. And I gotta say, I love this model. Uh, this might be one of my favorite Legion models. Um, you know, whatever your feelings are aside for episode one or episode one through three. Um, the mechanical designs I think are, are great and this is one of the cool droid um, uh, you know droid designs you know can't you just see this thing blasting Gungans to pieces yeah it's that awesome so um, so I built it I'm probably not going to paint it it'll probably stay in this stage for a little while although I really kinda like this plastic color um, until I can uh, bust out the airbrush I'm probably gonna airbrush this and while I'm at it I'll probably round out the rest of my droid separatist army and um, you know probably airbrush them all at once so I don't want to have to do that multiple times so there you go that's also what I'm working on um, I'm also revisiting uh, the USS Minnesota which is a bigger scale sailing ship uh, it's one 1200 scale for some American Civil War ironclad action um, a friend of mine has created a a set of Civil War rules, which I'm going to be showcasing probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, and the Minnesota obviously is an important player if you're doing the Hampton Roads type scenario, the Monitor versus the Merrimack, or Virginia for my southern friends. Um, this is pretty much done. It just needs some rigging and some highlighting on the uh, on the masts, um, and then we'll call call her good as well and you see the difference between something like the Minnesota versus a, a Black Seas um, ship which is significantly smaller uh, but the nice thing about this is yes it'll have rigging but all the sails are uh, unfurled so there you know I don't have to worry about sails hanging down because this is a steam uh, steam frigate all right, guys, there you go. That is a quick look at what's on the table this week. As always, we appreciate you watching. Please uh, give us a like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Click that bell to receive notification when we publish new content. 
Thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.